Good morning, y'all. How is all dems? Ain't nothing to it. Another day, it's the Robert. My mama's son, nobody important. Yep. Check it on out. First and foremost, like and subscribe if you like the viewing pleasure of us entertaining things. Now, check it out. Here we go. I like money. I need money. I got to have money. But I don't cherish the paper that much to put myself in harm's way for a J-O-B. Nope. Nope and nope. With a side order of hell no. Check this out, y'all. You have a job. The job consists of, I thought it was, vacuuming carpets, sweeping rugs, whatever, whatever, cleaning toilets, cleaning out offices and all them. Ah, uh -uh. nope, nope, and no. This thing consisted of going into a dilapidated type of iron-fisted play at this, this industrial area. I can't say it specifically do because I don't want to get sued and I don't want the improper authorities to get out the boy, the robber, my mama's son, nobody important. But yeah, this place is so crucial. You need OSHA. And I don't mean the occupational hazard folks and all that. I mean the, oh shit, happen accident again. That's who they need up in there. You need a hard hat. You need hazmat gear. You need protective folks around you. No, no, and no. I don't have no problem cleaning a bathroom, scrubbing the floor, wiping a window, doing anything long as deal with dogs. But I don't have no problem with work. I love work, especially hands-on work. This job didn't even supply me with gloves. No gloves. Yes, I got rusty mover mitts. Yes, they are built for public. Yes, but no, they're not built for G germs and toxic. Nah, eh, nope, nope, nope. Man, you got plastic chains lined up around old machinery that says it's not working, but yet there's steam coming out of all these machines. You got trenches on both sides of you to where it's a slip and fall extreme hazard and knowing my luck I'm gonna fall in one of them and then people are just gonna laugh boo hoo or whatever that boy's crazy stupid when well, he shouldn't have been there or whatever well, I should have took up a different train no then you got you can't even get half of your equipment is spread out toilet paper is in this closet downstairs around the corner around that looping corner whatever mind you and all that you ever seen the movie the Officer and the Gentleman? Try going into one of those or somewhere in Yugoslavia or the Czech Republic, somewhere crazy, third world country. This is the type of, as old as this place is, and it says the equipment is not working, but yet there's moving parts around you, loud parts around you, steam coming out of every six, seven feet. You, we are not qualified to be in that establishment without supervision. It's me and two non-English speaking females. One female who's attempting to train me. She's just pointing, pointing, pointing. I'm like, uh, uh, uh yeah, no, no, I'm not a contigo, uh, 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 get, uh, 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 no, oite, and uh, no, uh, I don't know how to speak Spanish, but I knew what not to say. I didn't know what to say. It was a bad situation. Moral of the story is that it was after hours in this industri industrial area. No human beings whatsoever. All you hear is big shit running, steam, and just things ain't right. It was a modern makings of a horror movie. For me to go in to clean a rusty ass locker room to where he sees like nobody's been in there since 1933. And then you got to go around the corner to clean a bathroom to whereas it looked like somebody had nine babies and a piece of a miscarriage and a failed murder in them. Nah, -uh. no. 
I will do anything, but I have my limitations. That place is not safe. It's going to take somebody like me to blow the whistle with nothing but helium, hot air, whatever that produces oxygen to blow a whistle on that place. They don't need janitors in that place. They need a hazmat team and OSHA authorities following behind them. I'm not that dude. No, I am not that dude. Like I said, I have no problem working. But certain jobs you just, just ain't built for the robber, my mama's son. Nobody important. Certain jobs just not built for me. No. I will wash dishes. I will scrub floors. I will do anything. As long as you pay me. I will do anything. But that place that they brought me in yesterday, under those conditions, no. And I found that something was wrong to whereas... The higher manager, he said it three times. Oh, our job has a high turnover ratio. Man, if that man didn't tell the T-Ruth, yes, him did. That is the number one thing he told the T-Ruth about. I didn't even clock in. No, I'm lying. I did the walk around. I lasted 28 minutes, and I was just getting to two bathrooms and then we had to search around other closets looking for this, looking for that. When it's all said and done, we never got no gloves to clean bathrooms, scrub floors, wipe down counters, do industrial cleaning work. Never got none of that. No. Got handed a, a, a handful of garbage bags and this much of spray in a spray bottle. No. I'm going to keep it short. Because I ain't going to blow nobody up. But I'm just letting you know. Every job ain't for everybody. And I'm not going to mention the company's name. Because they didn't do nothing wrong to me. I didn't get hurt. Then nobody's yelling at me yet. I'm turning in my shirts. Here, take your stuff back. Didn't fully fit it on and all that. I tied it on. Then whatever, whatever. Didn't even button the top button. That means I really wasn't ready to work. All jobs aren't for everybody. With that being said... I'm on my regular job, clocking in. I like my job. I'm going to stay at my job. It's hazardous work, but at the same time, there's people supervising me, and I'm supervising those around me, and I have all the equipment to make sure I stay safe. Hot sauce. Bong bong. Ha <laughs> ha. You better talk to them. All jobs aren't for everybody. Peace.